Hi, my name is Archie Dar. Hi, I'm Maher Abdel Samad. Hi, I'm Julie Huber. Hi, I'm Ellie Cohen. I'm Carson Kakashal. We're Team Magic. We're working with the Terrence Lewis Liberation Foundation to improve its processes, specifically in how they accept or reject cases and how they review and understand case files. We propose solutions that use machine learning and create algorithms to optimize the questionnaire section of their processes as well as how they review comments and relevant insights. We're offering solutions in an antiquated legal space, hesitant to technology, and we're going to do it and disrupt it and make it easier for Terrence Lewis's foundation to free wrongfully convicted people. And we're team magic. So yeah, the, the way that this idea formed and when it all started was back in April when we were in quarantine, when we decided to meet up, have a video call, as we were all adjusting to the new virtual environment, where we discussed our objectives at a high level as a senior design team, where we realized we wanted to do something with social impact. And throughout the summer, we kept discussing and meeting and breaking down all of these different ideas and topics and narrowing it down. And we actually finally came to the conclusion around mid-July that we wanted to work with the Terrence Lewis Liberation Foundation. And at that point, we met with Terrence Lewis himself, volunteers at the organization, and realized what their problems were at a high level. And we took this information and then went to Penn faculty, where we got to explain to them the project, get their insights, and they recommended us approach it from a lot of different viewpoints and different perspectives. Uh, and then we ultimately were able to do a sticky note analysis, given all of the information and meetings and need finding. And we're able to just determine what the main problems were with the organization and develop some great ideas based on those problems. For the fall semester, we divided our project into two main components. The first part is the algorithmic case prioritizer. This part involved redesigning the intake questionnaire to be checkbox based in order to help the foundation more quickly determine if they can take on the case during that time. The design consisted of scanning and uploading a completed questionnaire to a Python script that then algorithmically determines if the case meets a few basic criteria. The student volunteers for TLLF were really excited when we presented our progress so far and expressed how valuable they could envision it becoming. The second part of our project is the Smart Search. The purpose of Smart Search is to make it easier for the student volunteers to review the hundreds of files per case and quickly find important information in a document. The design consisted of harnessing AWS text tract to process the original scanned files and convert them into searchable PDFs. We automated the pipeline by wrapping the code in a Lambda function that runs whenever a file is uploaded, uploaded to a folder in S3 cloud storage. After a few minutes, the searchable PDF can be found in the processed folder. After demoing Smart Search, the student volunteers who work on Project RIC, or Research, Investigate, and Compile, said it would be super useful in their process and asked if it would work for handwriting as well, since reading messy notes slows down the review process. We address this by adding handwriting support using TextTrack again, but are still working on finalizing it. For the spring semester, we hope to continue improving both of our solutions, Smart Search and Algorithmic Case Prioritizer. For Smart Search, we want to use AWS language processing to allow the Terrence Lewis Liberation Foundation to read and search handwritten notes that are part of case files. After completing that, we will test it to ensure that words and information are not lost when the files are digitized. In regards to the algorithmic case prioritizer, we are going to manufacture data with the help of Professor Hassani so that we can train our random forest algorithm. We will then use testing data to ensure that our algorithms are repeatable and scalable. Lastly, our team will take time to work with the TLLF to teach them how to use these solutions and we will listen to their feedback and adjust our solutions as necessary.